Okay, so you, you just got your ICOM 705, maybe for Christmas, who knows? Um, and you fired it up and you like, what do I do now? So hopefully this video will help. M0 FXB. Okay, M0 FXB, you just got your 705, you've turned it on and it's blank. So you're like, where do I start? I think the first thing to do is get your call sign in there. So hit menu, then set. Go down to my station, select my call, and put in your call sign. Hold number one down, click edit, and then type it in M zero F X B um, space space. One too far there, clear. M0 FXB, do all the spaces. A N D Y. The reason you do the spaces is because you need eight digits here apparently. Andy for now. Okay, and then click, or you could put 705 or icon, click enter. So you've got your call sign in there. Back out of that. Let's start off with just putting a local repeater in. So click the frequency. You're in VFO mode. There's no memories in this radio. Click the frequency. Go for two meters. Let's put in a, a local repeater that's set on 145600. So we've got the frequency in. Let's hit uh, function. Turn on the tone by tapping tone. Uh, tone tone that hold it down put the frequency in which is uh, you can turn the large knob to 94.8 click exit down here so you've got the tone in the frequency you need the shift so hit function menu number two hit duplex and go for minus if you hold it you can adjust the um, the frequency. Now let's just um, check. We've got tone on. We've got the frequency in. Tone frequency. We've got the shift, which is 600. So let's key the mic. I don't know if we'll access the uh, repeater. Let me just get my uh, antenna on there. So we've got this uh, rubber duck here from my uh, 817. Get that on there, it's 2 meters and 70. Okay. Right, we'll key, right, we'll do, to do the power, push the multi knob, turn it full on for, for now. It's only gonna be five watts because there's no DC connected. Um, SWR, so we know what the SWR is like. Actually, we'll start off on low power. Key the mic. Don't think we're going to key it because it's we're indoors. This repeater it does actually open up when you whistle. Mic zero, Fox X-ray Bravo test. Ah, I think we got the squelch too high. So push the AF button. Let's just turn it right down. Get the squelch down. We can up the power a bit now. I'm turning that. Mic Zero Fox X3 Bravo test. No, we're not making the repeater, but anyway, let's keep the squelch to 30. That normally keeps it quiet. Right, so you've got your um, repeater in there. Um, and it could be a 77s one, you know, whatever you decide, simplex channels, S20 upwards and downwards. Once you've done that, just tap where it says VFOA here. Yeah. Select a group. So we might have to add a group here. So hold down your finger here. No, maybe we can't. So we're going to have to put it in that group because we haven't added any more groups. For now so it's a default group and then hold down mw oh we have to select another group so cancel 
So what we're going to have to do is select a new, make create a new group. So we'll attack group, group. Right, I'm just going to work out how to add a group a minute. Right, okay, I worked it out. So what you do, it, it, when you first turn this radio on, it goes straight to core channel. So you just go down one with the arrow, and you're on your groups then. So see this group's blank, called blank, naught, naught. Let's, we'll hold our finger on it, and we'll call it, we'll click edit name, and we'll call it um, F M repeaters, yeah. Click enter, and we could go to the next one and call it edit name. <clears throat> we'll call it simplex. You get the idea. So we've created two groups. So we go back. So now we want to save, go, we want to select the group, so hit group. Go down one, select FM repeater, so we're in group FM repeaters, and now hold the MW button until it beeps a couple of times. Right, so that repeater has now been put into our group. So now we'll hit memory, yeah? Uh, there's only one memory in there, so I think we'll probably put another one in there so it's a bit more clearer. So we'll go back to VFO mode by selecting VFO. We'll turn it to 750. It's all the same settings anyway. We're still in the same group, FM repeaters, and then we'll hold it down again. Okay, that's stored it. Now if we go back to memory, we should have, yeah, we've got two memories in there now. There you go. So that's just an FM repeater. Let's key that, see if we access it. M0 FXB test. Yeah, we managed to access that as GB3BC. Right, so we got that in there. Okay, if you want to get the scope on there so it looks nice, just hit Menu, Scope. And you can expand it or shrink it. Now, we've done those memories. It would be nice to name them. So let's go to Menu, hit Memory, and then you've got go to the group FM repeaters, and you'll see them there. You can go up and down with the large knob. So go to that, and we know that hit the three lines here on the right. And you can click edit, and then we'll put in G, B, three, W, W, R. Enter. Go to the next one. Edit name, G, B, three uh, BC enter so now if we come out of that when we scroll through the two memory channels it's quite small but you can see it here GB3 WR and GB3 BC I'm sure there's a setting where you could probably swap that round so it's larger but so right so we got our repeaters in there the next thing we're thinking is we want to use our, our hotspot um, so let's uh, have a go at doing that. So there's two ways to do it. One way is you can add the, a memory channel of, of your hotspot. So I'll do that first. Um, and then we'll talk about DR mode. Lastly, so we need to do our hotspot. So hold your DR button down. This is assuming you've um, already added your, um, your CSV file with all the repeaters, which you can download from dstar, I think, .org or .users, you'll find it. You want the CSV file uh, repeater list, and it does actually give you all the GPS information as well. So then just tap, <clears throat> you've held it into DR mode, tap jumbo spot, uh, go to repeater list, find, you could create a new group by uh, holding down one of these. Uh, edit name but it is easier just to find one in the UK there's one in United Kingdom select one you know you're never going to use there's one here in Ireland hold it down and click edit 
and then change the name to your local, you know, to your hotspot. Name it hotspot. Sub name hotspot Pistar. Um, put your call sign in there, but keep doing space and then put B. Same goes for the G, the, the gateway call sign, but you want G at the end. You're in group United Kingdom, so you know where to find yourself. Use yes. Frequency of your hotspot, put that in there. Um, duplex, you always select a duplex plus or minus, but with a hotspot, you change that to zero. All the zeros. Um, in your latitude and that. Then, then click add, um, add right or overwrite. If you were going to try and access your local re DV repeater, digital repeater, when you um, did the shift part, the offset, you would keep an offset of the of the repeater you've got. So when you key, you'll be transmitting to that repeater. But generally, we're used to doing our hotspots. Once you've done that, then to find your hotspot, just select jumbo. Um, select the bottom half, the from half. Um, go to repeater list. Go back to United Kingdom. You'll find where you've named it, and, and then you can select that. And it will put your hotspot at the bottom. Um, when you select the top, use select that. When you, If you want to use your reflector and you're already connected to one Charlie, for example, just select Use. If you want to change, select uh, Reflector, then select Link to Reflector. Um, and then choose. You can actually dial one in. Or you can it will store ones that you've connected to in the past. So there you are. You're set up now. You've got a couple of memory channels in there. You know that if you hit DR mode, you're in digital, and I think you're ready to go. Really. Uh, so hope this helps. M0FXB73.